Did you know that the average person wastes approximately 10% of their income on unnecessary items? That's right, money down the drain. Imagine, for every $100 you earn, 10 of them are squandered on things that bring little to no value to your life. That's quite the shocking statistic, isn't it? In this day and age, with inflation on the rise and the cost of living skyrocketing, every penny counts. Yet, we often find ourselves spending frivolously on things that aren't necessary. It's time we take a step back and evaluate our spending habits. We've compiled a list of 15 things that people, particularly those struggling financially, tend to waste their hard-earned money on. Some of these might surprise you. Some might even make you cringe. But all are worth considering if you're looking to get a grip on your finances. Are you guilty of these wasteful habits? Stay tuned to find out. Starting our countdown at number 15, buying brand name products. It's a common belief that shelling out a few extra bucks for a brand name guarantees better quality. But here's the kicker. It's often not the case. Many times, generic products offer the same quality at a fraction of the cost. It's a marketing trick, a perception game that many fall prey to. So the next time you're out shopping, think twice before reaching for that brand name. At number 14, paying for subscriptions you don't use. It's a trap many of us fall into, signing up for a service, then forgetting about it while it silently drains our bank account. These unused subscriptions may seem insignificant on their own. However, when added up, they can form a hefty chunk of your budget. Regular financial reviews can help you identify and cut off such unnecessary expenses. Remember, every little bit adds up, almost at the top. Number two, paying the minimum on credit card balances. This is a common trap that too many fall into. Credit cards often come with high interest rates, which can quickly turn a small debt into a massive one. It's like feeding a hungry beast that just keeps growing. And the longer you only pay the minimum, the larger that beast becomes. It's a slippery slope towards financial instability. Avoid the debt trap, pay off those cards. And now, the number one thing poor people waste money on, lottery tickets. It's a shocking revelation, isn't it? But when you dig a little deeper, it's not hard to see why this is such a drain on resources. The allure of the lottery is undeniable. It's the promise of instant wealth, the dream of a life without financial stress. But the reality is far from this ideal. The odds of winning the lottery are incredibly low. In fact, you're more likely to be struck by lightning than to win the lottery. It's a harsh truth, but one that needs to be faced. Yet despite these astronomical odds, people continue to buy tickets. Why? Because the lottery sells hope. It sells the dream of a better life. But it's a dream that comes at a high cost. Regularly buying lottery tickets can quickly add up. And before you know it, you've spent a small fortune on a dream that is unlikely to ever come true. But the most damaging aspect of the lottery is not just the financial drain. It's the myth that it perpetuates. The myth that the lottery is a way out of poverty. This belief can be incredibly harmful, as it takes focus away from more realistic and achievable ways to improve your financial situation. It encourages people to put their faith in luck, rather than in their own abilities and hard work. So instead of wasting your hard-earned money on lottery tickets, why not invest in yourself? Use that money to learn a new skill, to start a small business, or to save for the future. These are investments that have a much higher return rate. They are investments in your future, in your potential. Don't bet on the lottery, bet on yourself. We've covered a lot today, from brand name products to lottery tickets. We've journeyed through the pitfalls of wasteful spending, highlighting how poor financial choices can drain your wallet faster than a leaky faucet. We've exposed the habit of buying high-end brands for the sake of status, the lure of quick wins with lottery tickets, and the hidden costs of cheap, low-quality goods. We've also shown you how little things like daily cups of expensive coffee can add up over time, and how impulse buys often lead to regret and unnecessary expenditure. It's all about making smart, informed decisions when it comes to your hard-earned money. The reality is, financial health starts with awareness. It's about recognizing these traps and learning to navigate around them. Remember, the first step to financial health is awareness. Be mindful of your spending habits, and you'll be on your way to a more secure financial future. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and advice.